child number 350. As I try to sleep, another rifle butt elbow nudge invades my dreams, and my innermost mother lost murmuring slip like fetid half-formed selves to stain nylon fire-resistant blue, red, yellow, red square pattern seats on this coach to Croydon. I watch through mist-covered windows as banner waken, wavers chant, refugees are welcome here, refugees are welcome here, but as my hacking dust cough drags me to consciousness through flagging eyes, I see the outline of a woman bending to tie the shoelaces of a child. And I think once again of my tank-strapped sister, used as a human shield to protect them, the enemy against us, the resistance. We, we are pitiful. The clatter of falling cutlery, heavy and shiny, donated by the church and in place of plastic attacks, what remains of this memory as the coach lurches left to avoid giving photography opportunity to the vultures outside. The screech of brakes on hot tarmac echoes both my mother's screams and the laughter of the men as they let loose bullet terror taunts and shoot birds, dogs, goats, cats, children. I peer past damp blue folded curtains, push my nose against the misted glass and as I touch the hair on my top lip, the light of a flashbulb blinds me. Will, will I never sleep? The boy from the village next to me slumps and farts. It's a 3D scratch and sniff experience. Dismembered odours of rotting cadavers drift up and as his iris hits replay his lids twitch and jerk. The horror lurks. The plot is simple. Bored soldiers looking for distraction inflict pain and that pain stains every silent tear. The boy cries as he sits slumped against my thigh on this coach to Croydon. The flashbacks slam in. You can't get to your child. You can't get to your child. Bored soldiers taunt. They laugh and they taunt and taunt. Already lifeless. My sister's tank taken eyes turn and glaze to my brother, who then bleeds to death slowly and alone outside our home of a bullet to the brain. Moments before he had been playing with my yellow sunshine striped football, his death taken for a soldier's bet, now claimed. The ball pops, crushed by the continuous crawling caterpillar track. Blundering right, the seat belt pins me and the rifle butt, elbow boy from the village next to me, trembles uncontrollably, wakes, snaps the arm from his donated Batman toy and sobs silently. <laughs>